Hi there. Today's class is about the sexual health benefits of hibiscus or hibiscus water. Hibiscus water is slightly alkaline or basic in nature. And note that your internal body is slightly alkaline and your outer skin is slightly acidic. Now, any drink that you take, any recipe, any food that you take that is slightly alkaline in nature is going to regulate your body. It's going to readjust, treat, repair, reboot, reroute certain things that have not been going on properly in your body. So what are we waiting for? Let's go there. Welcome back. We'll be talking about the 10 sexual health benefits of hibiscus water. There are different species of hibiscus flowers. There's the white and there's the reddish. And what have you, depending on the country on the re or the region where you are. The hibiscus that is often used or taken for health purposes is the reddish hibiscus. I and my family have been taking hibiscus from way back and it has really helped hibiscus water is great for those who have high blood pressure those who are hypertensive those who have cholesterol issues and those who are struggling with weight issues and also those who are diabetic remember that hibiscus is very good in regulating some factors that are responsible for erectile dysfunction or low libido in both male and female and we are talking about diabetes high blood pressure uh, cholesterol weight gain it is important that you know that your reproductive health and your sexual health are linked together if you have an issue with your reproductive health it will affect your sexual health and if you have a problem with your sexual health is going to affect your reproductive health. These two areas of your life are linked together and they cannot do without each other. So, do not focus on your sexual life that you put away your reproductive life. That maybe it's because you're not interested in having kids, maybe it's because you're not thinking of uh, how your womb is or how your testicles are or your semen is. That you, that you focus so much on sex, 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 or having great sex, great erections, great things, and you forget that if your sexual health, if your testicles, your semen, if your ovaries, your womb is not in good health, your sexual health will not be amazing. Now, let's dive into it. So what are the 10 benefits, the 10 sexual health benefits of hibiscus water? And the first on our list is it increases the production of nitric oxide in the body. Nitric oxide is a neutral oxide. And that means that it doesn't have any alkaline or acidic characteristics when it interacts with water. Nitric oxide has amazing benefits in the body. In fact, it's needed in the body. It helps to dilate blood vessels, vessels in the body, that means it expands them, it helps with the release of hormones in the body, and also signaling and regulating neurotransmission in the body. So if you listen to what I've just said, you would understand the role it plays in your body, especially around your genitals. Nitric oxide in the body would help blood to rush towards your genitals, and then it also helps with rock hard erections. It's amazing. Clitoral erections, nipple erections, penile erections are going to be amazing. Now, the second point is it helps with the release of sex hormones. That is, if you are struggling with hormonal imbalance at any point, know that this nitric oxide that is being produced in your body will actually 
help with the stimulation of estrogen and testosterone in both male and female at the right levels. And then you can have great libido, great stamina, great erections. Remember that your sex hormones are very important when it comes to erection, when it comes to desire, when it comes to ejaculation. You need your sex hormones to be active. And let's not forget fertility. So your sex hormones are not only needed when you want to have babies. And this is why I will keep emphasizing that your sexual health and your reproductive health are closely linked and should be taken care of. The third point is this hibiscus water helps to lower cholesterol in the body. I don't know how it does it, but I'm telling you, it does. Lowers cholesterol in the body. So if you are struggling with any form of bad cholesterol in your body, do begin to take this high viscous water because high cholesterol affects your sexual performance, whether male or female, especially erections. Number six, according to the Journal of Phytopharmacology, hibiscus water aids to increase libido, sexual desire in both male and female. This research was carried out on rats and they realized that with hibiscus water, the rats were more sexually active than normal. So imagine how it's going to be in we humans, it is amazing what hibiscus water can do in your life and how it can affect your sexual health. Hibiscus water has free radicals, antioxidants that are going to help protect your body, your organs, your genitals from any form of damage or from deteriorating damage or disease. Look, it is going to protect your ovaries, your womb, your fallopian tubes is going to protect your testicles, your scrotum, your penis, your prostate, gland, in fact, and other organs of the body. So it's very good for you. And remember that it's going to protect you from having certain diseases that affect your sexual health or reproductive health. Number eight is promote weight loss. We all know that if you're overweight, if you're obese, it affects your sexual health, your sexual performance, your stamina, it just drops down. But with hibiscus water, I have been taking hibiscus water and what I notice is hibiscus water actually suppresses your appetite. And it prevents your body from absorbing fat. And it will help you to reduce body fat, especially around your waistline. Those areas that are very difficult to shred weight on. I personally take hibiscus water on a regular basis after every two weeks. And I can infuse some clothes in it. I can infuse some other seeds in it that are beneficial to my health just to keep my system refreshed and working in the right way. Number nine, hibiscus water helps to reduce blood sugar. It's great for those who are diabetic. Number 10, it aids with digestion. If you are bloated, if you are constipated, it's good to take this. Whenever I take a cup of hibiscus water, I'm telling you, my bowels are constantly moving. It helps to regulate your digestive system, especially for those who have been taking a lot of laxatives, who are very prone to uh, keeping gas. If you take a lot of milk, you, you keep a lot of, and it bloats you up, you are always fatting. You're always passing out gas, hibiscus water is going to help you. But take note, you cannot pour milk in hibiscus water because milk is slightly acidic 
and I had this because water is slightly alkaline or basic so you would just make a neutral solution and they wouldn't mix if you love if you like you can try that at home and it doesn't mix so it's not a it's not a health drink that you can take and put in milk in it so just be very careful but hibiscus water is one of the health drinks that you need because it's slightly alkaline in nature it will help you for those who are ill for those who are taking any form of medication whether it's for erectile dysfunction whether it's for any form of cardiovascular illness whether it's to lower your cholesterol whether you're hypertensive diabetic whatever autoimmune disease you have please before you take hibiscus water please speak with your doctor it's very important what you don't want to happen is that these drugs interact with the hibiscus water or the hibiscus water interacts with the drugs that is ph pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics of course and it gives a funny reaction i am somebody who is for a healthy lifestyle instead of taking drugs every day of your life till you leave this earth i believe that nature can actually regulate your body and give you amazing health but all starts in the mind if you train your mind your body would follow if you have been taking medications for years 10 years 15 years i think it's time for you to look into nature mother nature and try and improve your lifestyle what you eat the people around you the health of your mind the health of your spirit the health of your body will help you recover will help you have good health will help you enjoy your life trust me the one who created you the god who created you did not create you to be taking drugs 365 days a year for the rest of your life they are amazing benefits of of mother nature out there the amazing benefits of plants out there they are minerals chemicals that are in mother nature that you can use to boost your health and suppress and correct re-regulate reroute reboot your body your organs your health it starts from the mind thanks for watching and I remain your seasoned medical professional, Gwendolyn Halley.